Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We've been to an auction, and uh, as we can see, there's not much room left to the bump stop. We're pretty full. So, let's see what we got. Lots of cheap garbage boxes this time. Um, maybe lots of stuff for the scrapyard, but we'll see. Some more stuff here. The trolley is mine. But uh, yeah, we're pretty well loaded. Let's look into the boxes. So we still got half of the car full of stuff here. And uh, we sorted a little bit so that the garden tools, rivets. That's all sorts in different states of deterioration. Some are really nice. Mixed tools which we can keep. Spanners. Uh, rubbish. I got that one for free. We just want to get rid of it. That's the most interesting part. This is a, a set of more and right micrometers. That's an old scribing stand. A uh, whole bunch of more and right micrometers. And <coughs> but the best one is actually that little adept shaper. The little adept hand shaper. We'll look into it. Um, it hasn't done a lot of work. So yeah. We'll feature that in a video. We got a whole pile of electric tools. They were so cheap. I can't tell really. It's, it was just a bargain. I couldn't resist. There were lots of boxes which are really cheap today. Uh, that's the more interesting part. A whole lot of uh, drills, taps, dies, milling cutters number punches uh, that's the goodie box we need to go through the quite a few interesting bits here that's all hammers and a little bit of other stuff that's mixed back back that's all woodworking that's a toolbox with some interesting stuff in it came with another lot and that's just the scrap bins all right let's carry on ah we've got a cold chest or I think it's the Colchester student tool post. Still a long way to go. And that old welder, which the guy talked me into, I think I paid two quid for it. So <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. Uh, that's an interesting box. We got some, uh, I think, parallels or things like that. One, two, three blocks. I can't remember. Something. Uh, yeah, and still more to go. All right, let's carry on. This was an interesting one. It's been sold to me as a box of chisels. But I would say these are actually files and maybe the odd sword and a file card. Uh, yeah, I didn't know it was files, but it was cheap. So we took it. Now we're coming to the little bit more interesting stuff. So it's a lot of drills and uh, machine tools. We need to go through in detail what it is. There's another box over there. There's some interesting parallels here. It's ground on three surfaces. Maybe it's a gauge block. I don't know. There's another one here. Looks very accurately ground. I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. Big drills, which are usually quite expensive. More big drills. And here's some jaws and including swath. Yeah, there might be some interesting stuff. So we go through these boxes in detail what it is. I need to get the stuff off the truck here. Welcome back. Now we're gonna look into our goodie collection from yesterday from the auction. Uh, there's an awful lot, but uh, just start with what I got on the bench. Got a wheel dresser, which is in good nick. It's a solid one, not of these cheaper ones. So that's a nice one. We got a nice stone. 
don't know what make it is, but it's a, it's a really nice one. So more stones and uh, more stones. These are cute, I've never seen some of those here. They come in different states of deterioration here, but uh, it's a very fine stone actually. Don't know what they are for, but uh, they come handy. We've got all sorts of other stones here, and uh, someone made that I think. Nice one as well. They come handy as well. And a very nice, cute little hammer. Handle is missing, but uh, it almost looks like it's been made by someone. I don't know. There's no maker's name on it. Okay. Next lot. A height gauge. It is um, 18 inches here. But on the other side we got in millimeters. It's a bit worn, but we can still read it. Um, it was the only one, there were some more, but it was the only one which came with a lot which, were, which I could afford because there was some guy stocking his machine shop and uh, apparently... But yeah, it's a nice... Uh, it's a nice one. Can't see a maker's name. Oh, there is one something here. Does it say here? Yeah, it's a brown and sharp, so it's no no rubbish. Well, we got a brown and sharp high gauge. Happy with that? Uh, I don't have one. I got one which is very high, but 150 or 120. The problem is it was electronic, and I got it without the electronics. The, the problem is there is no there's no markings on it. It all relied on the electronics. And we got this little cute parallel, I think it's a cut one, that's what it looks like. But it's nice, it would have, would have been handy for our pull-off test, because that's a bit shorter. We got this little plate here. It's not in bad nick, it's got a few dings and dents. I think I just stone it and put it on, yeah there is some corrosion here. It was uh, basically just thrown into a box with some woodworking tools but I think we can make that nice for little stuff all right next lot so next round this is a set of uh, more and right micrometers Imperial they got slight corrosion and they may need a bit of work but uh, that's tight. That's tight as well. That's working. That's working. And here it's missing. So this is a three to four, two to three, I believe. And that's four to five. Nice ones. We give that one needs attention. That's a bit loose, and uh, I may have another. But usually the ratchet is missing. It's there. Yeah. It's seen some moisture, unfortunately, and uh, obviously you got the foam up here. But anyway, looks nice. I don't know if the box is original, but it looks nice. Here we got some. <laughs> Deteriorated thing here. Brown and sharp. Right, it never had a a ratchet here. Maybe it's good because it's just it, it looks rusty but it's just grime um, protection wax. Maybe it's good. It's a brown and sharp. 125 to 115 milli 150 millimeters, so it's actually metric that makes it even more interesting let me get that grime off here Let's see what it says here yeah. 
Yeah, brown and sharp number 69 and uh, it's actually in really good nick. It's just protection wax on it, which is great because I think I don't have a metric one in that size. It looks good, no dings, no dents. We'll check it at some point, but this is a great find. I thought it's some rusty imperial one, but yeah, sometimes you gotta be lucky. All right. Uh, yeah, it ca just came with one of the lots. Unfortunately, the pintle is missing. I guess it's m more on the right. Yeah, it's a more on the right. And it's very rusty, but it's tight. Has seen a lot of use. We'll see what we do with it. Okay, it's not the end. We got a, I would say, brand spanking new, more on right metric, uh, 0 to 25 millimeters. Uh, it's in superb condition. Pintle is working. Nice box. Mr. Kennedy owned it. But uh, very good condition. I love that. You can't compare it to the Chinese rubbish you get sometimes. That's a very nice one. Uh, here we got something which is more on right, I believe. As it looks like. Yeah, more on right. Very good condition. Bit of swarf on it. Only here a bit of corrosion. Yeah, it's corrosion. Not dirt. And we'll, mm, yeah, maybe it's wax. But uh, yeah, super condition. It comes with the original paperwork and it's got a, a build card in it which no it's just just packed date a <laughs> whatever that means no idea warranty card doesn't say a date on it and by the look at it it's, it's rather old actually very nice Here we got another one, which is another more on right, I think. Yeah, looks like. And that's two to three inch in fairly good condition. Used, but uh, protecting paper on it. Key comes with it. Nice one. Original more on right box. Nice. Here we got, I think it's actually a, <laughs> no, it's a, it's the glasses thing, but what's in it is a piece of rubbish. It's made of aluminium, so I don't know. I've seen them before. Nothing worth. All right. Here we have a tatty box, but when I opened it, I was surprised. I think. We got some very nice one, two, three blocks. This one is even. This one is still in wrapping paper. Don't believe the metric. Yeah, they are one, two, three inches. Yeah, very good condition. Got a few, but you can't have enough. Okay. Here we have a. I think it's a brown sharp, but it's in an extremely poor state. It says it here. Yeah, it's a brown and sharp, but the the scale is heavily corroded, and this one as well. Shame. I don't know what this is. It's blue, 
there's no maker's name on it, but it's heavy, so it's no rubbish. This one is heavy as well. There's a patent number on it, 572276, no name. Maybe brown and sharp as well. This one is, that's a more on right. Vial is okay, something in it. This is cheapo Chinese, that's right. This is not Chinese. Uh, we'll see. Need to find a few scales. I got some, but they are Chinese and they're no, not very well. Raybone. Uh, not so pretty. Here we got a scriber stand. There's no name on it. Old. TTL doesn't ring a bell. Pitted corroded. Don't know what we do with it. Here we got something no name. I think it said something down here, but I can't read it anymore. That's actually a more on right, but uh, not in very good condition. Probably worth saving it. More than right. Got one, which is in bad technique. All right, next round. Now it's getting a bit greasier. You got a very nice life center. Unfortunately, the bearing is shot, but we can take it apart. You feel the bearing has it. So we'll take it apart and have a look. Doesn't look abused. An MT3, so fits in my machine. Good. 3 2. Nice quality. A collet, don't know what it is. A whole lot of top and die handles. This is a very old one. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sell some of this stuff because I don't need everything. Especially these old tap handles, I sell them off because I have no use for it. It's a rather old one as well. This one is very old as well. I need to check what the maker's names are. This looks like something newer. These are very good ones. I really like them with that handle here. It's a bit bent. But it's in good nick. That one isn't bad either, so can't have enough of those. Unfortunately, oh, that's <laughs> okay. That's crap. It's stiff and uh, someone bent it, so that goes to the scrap bin. I don't have a scrap bin right now. Okay, another old one. These are probably more than right. You can't say because there is so many made, so many copies made of these. But uh, can't see a name. I'll check it out. There's nothing on it, but it's nicely made. It's one of the better ones. Another one here. That's a bit bent. Yeah. That's still okay. More die handles. More die handles. Oh, rubbish. And that seems to be made for something. Don't know what's there. I don't know. Looks like a vetch or so. Here we got something interesting. These are ground pieces. GW. There's another one here. Very nicely ground. Looks like some precision stuff. I've got a, a huge tap. One inch BSP. Looks like a one inch BSP 
as well. Yeah. That's three port of BSP. No, that's BSF. Yeah. Another one inch BSP. Yep. Yeah. What's that? Half inch BSPF. That's what it says. Another half inch BSPF. That looks like a BSP as well. Yeah, some nice ones. You can't have half enough tabs. So I'll probably retire some of the poorer ones. Here we get something very long. I love that because every time you need one, you don't have one. That's a BSP something, half inch, I think. Yeah, just had a visitor here. Well, the the guy actually there's another reduction. I just pinched it out. Interestingly, I think the <laughs> thing is ground as a milling cutter. All right. Okay. Um, the the guy who owned the stuff really cared about it. It's all oiled. Look at that oily newspaper on top of it. That's a whole bunch of dyes. I need to look into it. Yeah, it's all oily newspapers and. and Everything is oily. This is all three quarter PSP. So we don't, and that's just number and letter punches. You can't get, have enough of those. Get them off the way here. And that's the mother of all tabs here.